All right, welcome back everybody. This is Eric and Ray from Moss Pond, and today we want to do uh, something kind of special for you. You see a variety of revolvers laid out on the table here. We're going to do a big bore revolver shoot, and we're going to show you some major firepower in the realm of wheel guns. Uh, we've got some very powerful stuff out here. Um, I guess we can go in order from smallest bore to biggest bore. Why don't you tell them about that one? Right, first, we've got the uh, Ruger 357 Maximum, the SRM model, the 10 and a half inch barrel, and it shoots 357 Magnum, 357 Maximum, which is a 1.6 inch case, and it'll scat those bullets out 158 at about 1550 to 1600 feet per second out of this barrel length. Yeah. You can run 38 specials, 357s, and maximums out of this weapon. Very cool. Ruger only made a few thousand of those guns. There were complaints from the uh, people that it was having some top strap cutting issues with the loads at the at hand on those, you know, during that time period. But uh, the guns actually are quite durable, and they are the basis of a lot of custom guns. One of which we'll get to momentarily. The uh, next gun that we have in line is going to be a 44 Magnum. So Dan Wesson. This is the um, 744 8 inch barrel and all stainless steel six shot. Of course, you can fire 44 specials as well as 44 magnums. And with the cylinder length on the Dan Wessons as well as the Ruger Super Red Hawks, you can put some fairly substantial loads 320, 340 grain pills. And I believe we've got some uh, 320 grain hard cast gas checks that we're going to be running out of here. The, uh, the next one we have is a Freedom Arms. This is their premier grade. It is a model 83 and 475 line ball. It's a, a fairly substantial round. Uh, the bullet weights vary from 300 to 420 grains, and uh, they will get out of there at about 1,450 feet per second with the heaviest projectiles. That's moving. That is. Uh, recoil is substantial. You'll see that in a moment. <laughs> the, um, the next gun in line um, is a custom revolver. It's built on the same Ruger SRM frame in the maximum, but Instead of being 357, it is 500 line ball maximum. This round is about as powerful as you can get in a handheld weapon that is portable. This gun weighs approximately half as much as the 500 Smith & Wesson, and it produces the same energy levels. This, this round will shoot 450 grain bullets at 1,550 feet per second. This is a very hot hand load. Yeah, the, um, very hot. The recoil on these are so substantial they will physically harm you if you do not know how to shoot this weapon. You'll probably see an example of that in a moment. Well, let's hope not too badly. <laughs> Next gun in line is a, a Dan Wesson. This is a 445 Super Mag, which is basically a 1.6 inch version of the 44 Magnum. Uh, this gun can produce velocities 350 to 400 feet per second faster than the same bullets in a 44 Magnum. This gun will also fire specials and magnums and it is a six shot, all stainless steel. Outstanding. The last gun that we have in line here, this is one of the Smith & Wesson Performance Center 460s. Uh, this is a production gun from their performance line. And uh, is this, now what do we determine? Is that a scandium frame or what's no, these frame? are all steel. That's an all steel all gun? All steel frame. Okay. So, you know, again, a very uh, interesting gun from Smith. Um, 460 is definitely ballistically a very uh, very good cartridge. The nice thing about a 460 is that in this same gun you can fire 454 Casul, you can fire 45 Colt, you can fire 45 rimmed. So there's a variety of ammo that can be put through this gun. Uh, just because it is a 460 doesn't mean you have to fire the full powerhouse ammunition out of it. Uh, you can of course fire you know as light as a 45 rimmed and uh, still get some trigger time without killing yourself. The, um, the ability of that gun to produce power is substantial. It will put out some fairly substantial loads if you hand load up to 375, 350 grain projectiles. Um, it is a 1.6 inch length case, if I'm not mistaken. Thank and, you, right uh, there. It produces rifle pressures. This thing fires at some 56,000 PSI. It is the most powerful, as far as pressure wise, cartridge we'll be shooting today by at least 20,000 PSI. So uh, we definitely have a line up here. and. I think before the day's out, there's going to be some sore wrists. I believe you're right. We're going to try our best today to get some variety of footage. I'm going to use the GoPro with the slow-mo setting, a couple other odds and ends. We're going to try to catch the full recoil impulse of each of these guns, give you a really good comparison of what these things are about, and hopefully show some really nice damage on various objects. So, 
get started. Let's do it. I say we work our way from the smallest to largest. How about that? I think that's probably going to be prudent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Trigger is light. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me likey. We got the Dam Wesson 44 Magnum with a 320 grain hard cast bullet on a very stout charge of powder. So uh, let's see how this little guy does. And this is the gun that kind of got me into hand loading. Um, I had a 44 Magnum early on. I couldn't afford the ammo. And uh, this is the gun that kind of that got me into that. So I have that to thank. And this is a hot load. Okay, what Magnum Revolver video would be complete without blowing up a couple of soda bottles? 44 Magnum. Yeah, there we go. yourself set up, look down the sights, and just gently squeeze. Let the gun surprise you. There you go. Now you got double action and single, so I would recommend, let's go ahead. Pull back with your thumb. Reach up and pull back. There you go. There you go. Good shot. Right. One more. Is that six? I don't remember. I don't remember. I wouldn't count. Good shooting. Adjust that plate so it doesn't spin. power to you. <laughs> Jesus.
Holy hey. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Flip the plate. <laughs> Head on. Sitting. Cracked in my knuckle too, buddy. It hurts. Dude, it is flipping that gong around. And kicks so hard it makes the damn gate come open. Somewhat of an oblique. Right. Last round for the moment. Good night. Good night. Might want to add a foot in there while you're at it. Hey, I still have insurance till January. Can you bring your foot up high enough to help you hold it? <laughs> Right over it though, didn't I? Yeah, just a little high there. All right. You ready? Hang on. All right, ready? Good night. How about right in the eyeball? Ready? Yeah.